All right, today we're back, and I figure I'd do a little different video today. This one will be a short one for now. Uh, today got the garage all cleaned up and everything, and the pretty much the repair shops to the point where it's starting to get cold outside. The season's pretty much done. Uh, people bring stuff in, I'll work on it. So since that's pretty much slowing down, the bees are slowing down. They're pretty much ready for winter. I'll do a couple videos here and there. I might do some fix-it videos here and there. But I wanted to do something a little different today. I ended up finding this up in the attic. It's a Red Cat Shockwave. Found it up in the attic of the garage. I haven't ran this or used it in probably a year and a half. It's just been sitting there. And I figured since I'm not fixing stuff right now and I'm not working on anything, why not dig it out? So, I'll just show you what everything I got. I got the car. It's a nitro car. I got a, a LiPo glow plug driver. This is probably one of the better ones on the market. I mean, I've had this car for several years. There's probably better ones. A bag of assorted parts. And I'll show you what all's in there. There's a two-speed transmission in there that something broke on it so that can no longer be used it's a twenty dollar transmission parts for these are cheap i got the control arms the endized aluminum the reason why they're not on the machine is that even if you uh tighten up the adjustment screws after you make your adjustment they just they rattle loose so they're pretty much useless to me i was fixing it more than i was uh driving it around we got a header pipe here it's an aftermarket one and i ended up taking that off because with this being shaped like this it seriously has no more flow than the original one that's on it i didn't notice a difference whatsoever we got extra brackets that are all bent to shit these ones are but I got a whole bunch of these aluminum parts, but I prefer the plastic ones. They have more give. Uh, yeah, they break. These ones bend. But I just had an issue with the little bolts and everything just coming out all the time, even if I Loctited it. So I just went back to the plastic. So that's pretty much everything in there. Bunch of assorted screws. So... We'll pop the top off of this. Like I said, I haven't seen it in a year and a half. Mm, it's a little dusty. Uh, let's see if the batteries are any good in this. Mm, batteries are good in there. Probably have to replace those eventually, but everything seems to work pretty good. I do know that the last time I put this away... I did not put any uh, after run oil in it, so it's been sitting for a year and a half, uh, just as is. Um, some of the fluid is gelled up in the bottom. I'm going to have to do a cleaning to this. Piston feels a little tight. So, we'll go to my little toolbox thing that I bring with me. So the most common things I would take with me when I would take this thing out is your wrench. It's pretty much a, a socket for every size on this thing. has two extra glow plugs built into it. Another little wrench. There's these four little clips that came for the suspension. If you put them in the suspension, it... uh makes it stiffer which around here it's nothing but dirt and shit so you kind of want soft suspension 
Loctite, which is a must on these. That's been sitting a while. I got the extra, another throttle linkage cable. Why the hell do I have another one of these? I'm not sure. I ordered something and it came with it. So, this one's for the brake. The other one's for the throttle. Allen wrenches, since that's pretty much what every bolt on this is. Oh, a brand new glow plug. I didn't even know that was in there. So, we'll see if one of these even works. And as you can see, it still does. I bought this thing maybe like five years ago, and... Uh, Charged it, I think, once, and it still makes everything glow, so that's good. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get everything all cleaned up on it and stuff. Get it apart, like I said, clean it out, and uh, we'll do a video on it, whether to see how well it wants to fire up after a year and a half of sitting with no after run fl fluid in it. And... Uh, I don't know, if you guys are into this stuff, then maybe I'll do some videos with it. So, give me a shout out, give me some uh, info if you guys are interested in seeing stuff like this. And, uh, that's it, until we get it cleaned up and stuff, so, thanks for watching.